everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing Kix Nation. If you're unfamiliar with Kix Nation, they are a curated sneaker box. So what is a curated sneaker box? Well, it's similar to maybe some of the other subscriptions you've seen that are for closing. However, this is specifically for sneakers and is focused on the modern sneaker wardrobe. So you tell them your preferences by filling out a quick quiz and then based on that quiz they send you three pairs of sneakers to try on the styling fee is $15 so you do pay a styling fee and then you will get three pairs of sneakers sent your way so the quiz itself is super easy to take you get to answer lots of different questions about your preferences you get to select your shoe size what shoes look good to you you can pick as many as you want as it says there on the screen don't hold back. You get the choice of like lifestyle and workout sneakers as well. You can pick the brands that interest you. I don't know a lot about sneakers, so I didn't know a lot of all the brands. Um, if you have a narrow or wide foot, you can select that as well. Then you build your sneaker wardrobe. So you get to pick if you want lifestyle, running, or training shoes. Um, and then you get to pick what type of color. And you get to do this for each of the three pairs that you get. Um, so you can see me kind of click through selecting that I wanted dark color, apparently. I'm not really remembering what I'm doing because I'm doing the voice part after I've done the ordering. <laughs> um, and then I did a training one as well. Um, and they do send you exactly what you ask for, um, which is super duper specific. You also get to pick, you know, the price. They also ask if there's anything else they should know, and then you create your profile. So I know that I unbox a lot of different subscription boxes on my channel. Now this is not actually a subscription box, so you can go out and get this whenever you want. You can set it up to reoccur on a three, four, or six month basis um, as an automatic delivery. So that's kind of a way if you wanted it as a subscription that you can do that and you'd be charged the styling fee of 15 um, each time for that. Once you get them, you have seven to 10 days to try on the shoes and make your decision. It does come with a label. You would ship it back in the same box that it came in. The other thing that I really love about this is that they give back. So with their boxes, they partner with Souls for Souls. And if you have some lightly worn pair of shoes that you no longer need, you can include those in the box when you ship it back and they will be donated to Souls for Souls. If you're new to my channel though, welcome. Like I said, I do lots of different subscription box and box videos here normally. So if you're a sub box lover like me, go ahead and subscribe and join the sub box lover family and let's jump in. All right, so when you open it up, this is what it looks like. There's an envelope with my name on it, I'm guessing with the paperwork. Then there are three pairs of shoes in these nice black duster bags inside. So inside the envelope, you do get the return shipping label if you want to send anything back. So the top note is a letter um, that tells me a lot more about the different pairs that were included in the box, which is great because I know nothing about sneakers. I do also have a referral code, um, so I will leave that down below. I don't think, I think I just get credits for Kix Nation. I don't make any money off of it, but I'll leave the referral link down below in case you're interested in signing up. Um, if you don't want to, that's totally fine as well. And then on the other page, it talks about the price for each of the pairs. All right, so we're gonna start with the first thing. I actually really like the duster bags because I don't like to keep sneaker boxes. I know a lot of people do, but I'm not one of those people. Um, so the first pair, okay. I don't remember <laughs> what I selected, but this is what I got and I'm kind of loving the pops of color there. So these are the Nike Daybreak Women's RL Ivory Bright Mango Summit White Light Citron. <laughs> That's the full name. And a size eight and a half. And these retail for $98.55. I kind of love the uh, yellow with the orange. I don't remember what I selected, honestly. You probably, I mean, you just saw it in the profile, but these are kind of cool. This is not something that I would normally gravitate towards, but I'm kind of into it. I will try these on um, for you to see here in a second, but like, okay, that's pretty cool. I like this because I will pick the most boring sneakers every single time. This will push me out of my comfort zone, so I kind of like that. So it says, based on your quiz preferences, we picked three pairs we hope you'll love. For your first sneaker, you mentioned that you wanted a bold color lifestyle shoe and a runner silhouette. I guess that's what I said. <laughs> we had so much fun picking in the Nike Daybreak in a pale ivory with bright mango to accent 
for you. Uh, originally released in 1979, the Nike Daybreak is a blast from the past, featuring the same rubber waffle outsole and nylon upper today as it did then. It gives you true vintage style with lasting quality. They add the perfect flair for any and every outfit. Okay, I actually am pretty excited about these. I, I wanted a colorful pair because I don't own colorful shoes. Literally, when I get shoes, they're just black. So, very excited. <laughs> okay, uh, I just threw it across the room. Okay, wait, these are kind of cool. And they're black, so y'all know I love that, but like, the what okay these are the on cloud flow women's rock rose in eight and a half this retails for 139.99 these look fun i don't know why these look fun but they look fun it also says swiss engineering on it and like i'm kind of obsessed with with that honestly um now i did put in my size they asked for your nike size which is for me is an eight and a half but for other sneakers i normally wear an eight so i'm hoping that these will actually fit maybe i should have done it as an eight versus an eight and a half but we'll see with socks and everything how it works these look really really cool so let's read more about them it says you asked for a mostly black training shoe with functionality for a cardio class by cardio class no 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 i go on walks but that was the option <laughs> The closest thing. For this, we went with the On Cloud Flow and Rock and Rose. This lightweight shoe features zero gravity foam outsoles and an elastic strap. An elastic strap? Where's that? I don't know. I'll figure that out another time. <laughs> So the elastic strap is for more speed and longer endurance. The curved heel provides a better hold, durability, and comfort. This Swiss engineered shoe is lightweight and breathable with an advanced traction pattern that offers superior grip for all of your activities. Well, I will say these do feel lightweight. These feel really like, I feel like you'll be super like agile. That's not, <laughs> that is not the right word. Um, it does say cloud tech on the bottom, which is cool. So I'm excited to try these on. I am a sucker for anything black. All right, last but not least. And I have them backwards. Okay, this is different. I don't own anything like this. These are the Karyuma IBI Unisex Sand Knit in eight and a half. These retail for $98. Got a little green accent. I'm guessing that's the logo on the back. So it says, for this pick, we decided on the Karyuma IBI Slip-On Sneaker and Sand Knit. This lightweight shoe is ultra comfy, made with vegan knit using sustainably harvested bamboo and recycled plastics. And two trees were planted with the purchase of this shoe. Oh, okay, I like that. I don't know, I don't know if I love this detail. I wish it didn't do that. Then I'd probably like it more. For some reason, I'm really hating like that little thing right there. Um, it does have green on the... Oh, it comes with a second pair of laces too. I was like, what? So you can switch it out for a lighter colored lace. I think I like it more matched like that, but maybe, I don't know. This is me trying to envision it. Obviously, clearly that's not gonna work, but these seem really good. They have a nice like support there in the back. I don't know. And it has a little bit of cork at the bottom too, which is kind of cool. All right, so let's try on some sneakers um, and then I will come back for final thoughts. All right. So here is the Nike pair on. I honestly am kind of obsessed. Also, I didn't think that I should probably shave my legs for this video, so we're just gonna deal with what it is. But these might be my favorite. I really like them. I think I need to lace them a little bit tighter. Like, yeah, I could lace those way tighter, but I'll deal with that after I did them the way that I could for what I did. That made no sense. but. They're very different from a normal shoe. I'm obsessed with like the yellow, with the orange. I think it's a really cool accent. I think they're cool, they're retro, they're, I don't know. They're cool sneakers. So I think I'm gonna keep these. All right, next we have the On Cloud Flow pair. These are so comfortable. Now, the elastic band is actually right here that I couldn't find earlier. So that's where that is. Um, they're super comfortable. They fit really well. The laces are a little bit long. Um, that would be my only thing because if you're working out, these will be moving around everywhere. And even if you double knot it, it's not going to, because they're such thin things, I don't know. There's probably some way I could do something about it or some hack somewhere. But this is what they look like. They get the cool cloudy sole thing, the little Swiss flag <laughs> um, because of the Swiss engineering. Um, but these are pretty cool. I feel like, I don't know, this is just, this is a workout shoe. Um, and workout shoes are workout shoes. <laughs> uh, 
Um, they're pretty cool. I still think that I like the Nikes better, but I like these two and I think I'm probably gonna keep them because I do need more like athletic shoes. I don't have a ton and these ones are pretty cool. I'm excited when I actually like work out like how this cloud tech, whatever it is, <laughs> uh, sole thing will work, but these are the shoes. All right, last but not least, we have the Karayuma pair. I actually like them better on I, like I was saying, I, at first I didn't like that detail, but they're actually kind of cute. Um, I don't own shoes in this color. I actually think these are the most comfortable out of all of the pairs that I've tried on. So comfort scores high on this pair. Um, like I said, I don't own shoes in this color and I kind of like it. I'm kind of, kind of digging it. I love the padding that's there. Um, so I actually think I'm going to keep these too because I feel like I don't know, this is just like kind of stylish, kind of everyday. I don't know. I feel like you have to do this with the right outfit, but I feel like I normally wear jeans and a band t-shirt and like that, these go with that, but they're not black like everything else I own. So it'll be nice to have like a little bit of uh, a different color. And these are vegan shoes, which is super duper awesome. All right, back for final thoughts. First of all, I should say I'm actually pretty impressed. Now you do have to be very specific in the quiz about what you want. And for somebody like me who doesn't know what I want, that does, like, I had to make decisions, right? Um, and I had to then make the right decision. So it was a little bit limiting in that you really have to drill down. But if you know what you want, you're going to get a better result that way. So I would say, I think the Nike Day Break was my favorite looking shoe. The On Cloud is probably the shoe that I'm gonna wear the most because it's the most basic everyday type of shoe. And the Karayuma was the most comfortable. So personally, I think I'm actually gonna keep all three. I need sneakers and the total of all three of those would be $336.54. Again, you don't have to keep any of them. You can just keep one pair. So you definitely do not need to keep three pairs if you don't want that. Um, but if you're somebody who likes to try new sneakers a lot, then this is a good way because you can send your gently used pairs back for that donation as well. Also, this is so much easier than going into a store and having to look. I've, and this way you get somebody who kind of helps style um, you. I don't know what my style is. My style is everywhere across the board. And so I personally like when somebody will style things for me. And I would have probably never picked some of those things on my own, but I'm super happy that I got them. Um, and hopefully this will open up my brain to wanting more different things. So again, I will leave my referral code down below in case you're interested in signing up, but definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of the three sneaker pairs based on the way they look? Which one is your favorite? And yeah, if you sign up, definitely tag me in pictures of you in your shoes because I want to see the different shoes. So if I go out and get another box, I know what I should pick. So if you guys get this, I want to see your sneakers. Tag me on Instagram because I, I legit, like, I now want more sneakers. This is going to be an issue, um, but I like want to see what y'all get. So I know what to pick on my profile. <laughs> uh, so again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.